just wanted to uh, share with everyone uh, my experiences with um, Open Pilot. Uh, so basically, Open Pilot uh, caught my attention um, last year when I was driving these really long ass drives back and forth to work. And ever since that time, using Open Pilot with this uh, car that I bought specifically for Open Pilot, I mean, it's probably 99% of the reason I bought a new car uh, so I could avoid having to drive. So here is comma eon here this is what uh, this is uh what is part of what's needed to drive my honda civic 2008 honda civic se um coupe um i mean sedan sorry here is the panda and the giraffe plugged into the head uh the camera where this usually uh the honda's steering system which is enabled after i guess mo mostly highway speeds but with open pilot, it can um, steer your car all the way down to uh, 20 kilometers per hour. So I'm gonna hook it up right now and we're gonna head off to work because I'm late. Oh, actually, ah, here we go. provides to open pilot basically because of that I cannot turn the way I want to if I had a Toyota or something I'd have a bit more but I wasn't willing to uh, I guess to take that price uh, when I was looking when I was looking for a price I wanted to look for something I could afford not something that, that would do me the best thing so uh, it's my choice here so anyway enabling open pilot again it's just gonna reset itself to a nice sweet stop here now I adjusted the acceleration as per some minute comments in the uh, slack for comma there's a very vibrant community on uh, uh, I guess the slack .com AI. Uh, that's that site provides okay yeah here's another example of everything basically that site provides a lot of information about um, what the, about what 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 is upcoming what changes can be made to modify the code what changes are upcoming if you want to get in on what's happening with common AI uh, with your development of open pilot and common AI you should go join that slack because it is uh, always uh, informative to learn what's happening there anyway so the place where this Honda shines with open pilot is the highway because the highway doesn't have any sharp turns just slight gradient turns this system works a million times better on that um, supposedly people were going to say that there were going to be some changes made to uh, fix Honda's sort of fork via changing some of the uh, changing some of the, the functionality of I, I forget the name of it I think it's the the ECU basically I'll correct it but basically there there's talk of people doing that I don't think I'm brave enough to do that to a car that I depend to drive back and forth for me to work 
Uh, I'll leave that to the people who know better than I do. But here we go. So this is where I really get my bread and butter from Open Pilot here. So I'm gonna merge on here. Oh, here we go. Some guy getting on. Go ahead. It's okay. Anyway, so I'm just gonna enable Open Pilot. I'm gonna set it to go to. 110 miles per hour and it's just going to uh, pull me along here now the thing about this is that once again this only steers when it's at 20 uh, kilometers per hour or higher therefore if I if, if it starts if it goes below 20 kilometers per hour and starts to drift I have to take over and think but usually I just a little tap on the wheel and it just goes. And as you can see, the wheel is just like, I'm not touching the wheel. It's just moving along here. The Honda system, I would not be able to do that in stop and go traffic like this, which is one thing on its own. But you're gonna see, I'm gonna do a time lapse of it. But I'm going to, when I start driving highway at highway speeds, you're going to see a world of difference in terms of basically, I don't touch the wheel at all basically. It just takes me there, which is amazing. Very cool. See that guy came in. I don't know if you can see that, but basically that guy came in and comma I mean open pilot just came to a nice stop. Nice and clean. And it's gonna start up again. Just gotta watch, like I said, below 20 kilometers per hour. It's not going to uh, drive for me. So I just have to watch where it goes below that. But other than that, I've been driving for two months with the system and I adore it. There is nothing better than just laying back and letting open AI, open pilot drive you uh, where you need to go. Um, long drives are effortless now and uh, it's just great. Um, as I said, the, Honda, the difference between this and the Honda system, the Honda system has trouble detecting lanes sometimes and it has to also be at a certain speed. And also, the Honda system seems to is more temperamental. You have to touch a bit more, and I'll do a video on that uh, soon about how the uh, Honda system works rather than the Open Pilot system. To switch back and forth between the the Open the Open Pilot and the Honda, uh, I guess system, you just need to switch. There's some dip switches I'm going to put in the video here that you just need to flip uh, between whether open pilot controls it or um, uh, sorry the Honda stock system is in place We're going highway speeds now so I'm just gonna enable open pilot and uh, I guess just enjoy the ride all right so I have enabled open pilot and I'm not doing the best examples here basically I'm playing with my phone um, doing all this other stuff I shouldn't be because Open Pilot is a, a level two, a sort of self driving system. So you do need to pay attention to what it's doing. I mean, of course, it takes a lot of the burden out of driving by basically you don't have to pay, uh, be as stressed as you're driving because basically the car takes care of pretty much everything. But you do need to pay attention and take over for when various things happen. Uh, look, I got caught in traffic here again, so it's a bit slower than it should be here. I'm mounting my phone, which I probably should not be, but uh, I did anyway, so yeah. Anyway, but yes, uh, yeah, and there went cream my hands. We're still doing it pretty slow. It's not, not so bad. Um, anyway, so um, yeah, basically you do need to pay attention, so I'm not the best example here in this video. But um, at least gives you an example of how well Open Pilot works, or how trusting I am in it. Basically, that I uh, basically let myself do other things while I was <laughs> Open Pilot did most of the driving. Not a good example, but still shows how much uh, I trust this system. <laughs>
Now I'm heading into some of this, the Honda Civic's kryptonite here, which is tight turns. So there are certain turns on the 409 that this uh, car cannot do. I'm coming up with the 409 now. Uh, entrance to the thing now. So uh, there's a couple turns. It's very tight, unfortunately. And the Honda Civic just cannot do it, unfortunately. So it doesn't have that enough torque to do it. You see an example here. Oh, it's going to do it. Yeah, no, it can't do it. So I got to take over. It's a shame. Too bad. It's almost perfect. And once again, as I said, it's, it's something to do with the Honda, not open pilot. Other cars like Toyotas have apparently the torque to be able to make those turns without too much effort. And there are ways to mod the, uh, maybe, maybe the Toyota, I mean the Honda in future. But uh, right now, that's not something I'm uh, willing to do at all. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, open pilot. That's my drive. Um, 20 minutes of just sitting there, relaxing, not having to stress out about like um, stop and go traffic that much. I just, I just let the car do its thing, and um, it's, it's always improving. That, as I said, there's a growing community on uh, at, at comma.ai, uh, community.ai.com. Uh, well, the, the Slack is where most of the activity happens, really. So I would say give it a shot. Get a panda. Uh, as a first step, just to see if you're, well, first of all, go to uh, comma.ai and go to the, find the supported uh, car section. Uh, right now, it's Toyotas and Hondas, certain Toyotas, certain Hondas that are, are supported. Uh, ones, the Toyotas are supported are the ones that have uh, Honda Sensing. The Toyotas that are supported have uh, TDSP. They have a certain, they have a TDSC version, but we don't want TDSC. You want TDSP as in Peter. Um, that's the one that has the support. And as I mean, it's better just to go and see if the car is supported. If you don't want to fight with it and uh, try and um, figure it out yourself, but they do have a guide as well on how to do it, how to actually mod your car so that it uh, it. Uh, basically drives itself from the majority of your So one thing I did not mention was that my own car, a Honda Civic um, SE 2018 edition, that car to, and all the Civics that support, I guess, uh, the open pilot need to have a Honda sensing package. And you should be careful not to get the the hatchback version because that part is, that one's currently not um, supported yet. But if you get a 2018 a uh, Honda Civic with a uh, with a sensing package that's not a hatchback. You're pretty guaranteed to go uh, and get a, have a easy setup with Open Pilot. Um, but until then, uh, we'll follow up with more videos later and catch you later.